The Logan Police Department investigating a possible false sexual assault accusation that led to a man's death. ABC 4's Nicole Newman talked to the Logan Police Chief today and has the story. Police say it's a crime he didn't commit and they have surveillance video to prove it. But sadly, it wouldn't be enough to save the life of 62-year-old Michael Fife. Fife died on April 27, four days after suffering severe head trauma from being tackled to the ground. This was a single um, forceful motion that uh, appeared to have knocked Mr. Fife off his feet. Logan City Police Chief Gary Jensen says the aggressor was a 17-year-old who was led to believe his 16-year-old sister had been sexually assaulted by Fife. The sister said it happened while on a Cache Valley Transit District bus, but Chief Jensen says the surveillance footage they obtained doesn't support her claim. It just simply doesn't appear to, uh, according to what we were told, and now the video that we watch, it doesn't seem to be that the, the, the two stories come together. Jensen says the assault happened while Fife was getting off the bus near 300 South, 100 West. After the attacker ran away, eyewitnesses called for help. This was all around 3 o'clock on April 23rd. But police say the accuser didn't call to report the alleged assault to police until 6.15 p.m. that day. As far as charges? We're looking at this case trying to understand whether the elements and, and the knowledge of the perpetrator versus what actions that person took, um, whether they meet the elements of certain crimes. According to a GoFundMe raising money for his funeral expenses, Fife leaves behind one son. In Logan City, Nicole Newman, ABC4 News. Now, ABC4 did reach out to the Cache Valley Transit District. We wanted to try to see a copy of that surveillance video. Our request was denied for that. We were told it could interfere with the investigation. We also reached out to Michael Fife's family. We're still waiting to hear back from them.